Welcome to Salem, Massachusetts. In this video, we're going to explore both Bering Point Cemetery and the Witch Trials Memorial. Bering Point Cemetery, which is also known as the Charter Street Cemetery, is the oldest maintained cemetery in Salem and among the oldest in the United States. One of the famous graves we'll visit today is the gravesite of Judge John Hawthorne, who is one of the leading judges in the Salem Witch Trials. Let's begin. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, if you like the content, please remember to subscribe and smash that like button. In 1692, nearly 200 people in the Salem area were accused of witchcraft, which was then considered a crime. 20 of the accused were tried and executed, victims of fear, superstition, and a court system that failed to protect them. This memorial was created to honor the memory of these 20 victims and to remind us of the enduring lessons of human rights learned from the tragedy of the witch trials. At the entrance, you'll also find a map of the more notable famous graves laid to rest here. Every year, the Salem Award for Human Rights and Social Justice is given to an individual or organization that speaks out and takes action for human rights and social justices. One of the more visited memorials here is that of Rebecca Nurse. Rebecca Nurse was a woman who was accused of witchcraft and executed by hanging in New England during the Salem Witch Trials. She was the wife of Francis Nurse, had several children and grandchildren, and was a well-respected member of the community. It is just crazy to know the history that happened here and it doesn't really hit home for you until you visit uh, like Bering Point Cemetery where they have the memorials for all the hangings like right there is Giles Corey. If you know the Crucible, the movie, the play, the book, the show, you know, you know who Giles Corey and Martha Corey were. Giles Corey was famous as quote, uh, they, he was, he was uh, pressed to death with big rocks that they put on his chest. And there came a point where he said, you know, they're like, are you ready to confess yet? And he said, more weight, more weight. And then they just kept putting it on him. But Giles Corey, on this trip, we're going to go see uh, his lands and his uh, a tombstone that they have for him. Giles Corey and right next to him, his wife, Martha Corey, is right there. Well, we just checked out the memorial for all the victims who were hanged during the witch trials or however they died, killed. And now we're in Bering Point Cemetery. Our goal here is to find the gravesite of Judge Hawthorne, who's buried here. He was the judge who, was, who sentenced them all to death pretty much, but we're gonna go find him. He's here somewhere. Judge John Hawthorne was one of the leading judges in the Salem witch trials, a very religious man Hawthorne served on a committee to find a replacement for Salem minister George Burroughs in 1686. He later sentenced Burroughs to death in the 1692 witch trials. Hawthorne believed the devil could use witches to undermine the purpose of the church and do harm to people. Really 
wasn't too difficult to find. So right here, here lies interred body of, wow, look at that. They like misspelled it almost and they're adding it in there. Hawthorne, age 76 years old, died. I can't even like read that, May 1717. And as you can see, this used to be just a normal thing, but they put, they like rebuilt it around there. Wow. So yeah, he's buried right below us right here. Judge John Hawthorne. are like growing into the, into the graves. Yeah, geez. That is a shot. Look at that. Obviously it's pretty eerie to be here, but it feels very peaceful and just amazing at Salem. What do you think, Mother? What can you think? I know. It's pretty cool, though. It really is. It's pretty cool to be in a yeah, very... This year we got to see the inside. It has to be one of the oldest graveyards in, like, U.S. history. I mean, we're in Massachusetts, you know? It's like where they first landed. That whole thing. But, yeah, I mean, look at these. Look how tiny they are. I know it's windy, I'm sorry about that. I'll have to do a lot of voiceovers in this video, but. Yeah. Glad to be back in Salem during October, Halloween month, Halloween capital of the world, right here. Well, everyone, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you all soon on the Travel Channel. Take care.